Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Holden Aiden like MHR Defense. So in the last episode, we did the data saving part 2, where basically when we... Yeah, so just like having units equipped and saving those equipped units. We're gonna equip two more. Or just a bunch more. Then if we go pause and we go play, you'll see that all those are still here and the rest is just in here. So we have two and 10 and here we have 10 also. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So for today, we are going to work on those units showing as equipped which i'll just make the background green for now so let's get into it if it loads so let me see what we've done so it creates the unit frame when we click on the on this it generates the selected frame and then if we press the equip, it fires the setup for the equip and then the unit table. And what we want to do is we basically want to check if this is equipped. So what we want to do is if player dot equipped units index this with the we'll go with the unit table dot UUID then we want to make templates dot color or background color three is equal to color three dot from rgb and we want to make this like green and we just choose like a random green it will probably look not very good but it's just for showing it okay so we got an error so the event member of folder oh yeah we, sh we should use a friend as child for this because putting it in those brackets requires it that it is there so we should do i should cut this out and we should do a con finds finds first child and then put this back in here and now it should work and yes you can see that we have all those units equipped and those two are not equipped. So that's pretty cool. If we equip those, and yeah, for now we just have to leave and rejoin. We'll see that all are green. When you press on unequip all, this, yeah, we, we can script the unequip all pretty easily right now. So, Let's go to the server. And we have the unequip all units here in the unit module. Let's go to the unit module and check if we have the unequip all. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We have the unequip all. And I think, do we use? Yeah, okay, we scripted it already. So that's cool. So we can equip units. And when we leave now and play again, you can see that we have those equipped. When we press unequip all and leave and just instantly rejoin, you'll see that we have no units equipped because we can see this. So it got equipped, not got unequipped, equipped, unequipped, good, unequipped. So that's pretty much it. And yeah, so. We can update this now. So what we can do is in general selected frame, we can just do a function for updating it. So let's see, equip units, the unit UI. So unit UI, and then we need to create the unit frame. Where do we create those unit frames though? That's what I'm 
currently wondering about is it here let's just search for it so we do it in the unit UI here and then we do it in the unit module this is just for creating a unit and we do it here in the client in the inventory and what we want to do is we want to go down here and we want to do player dot call my child equipped units dot child edit called connect and then generate and we can copy this paste it and put child removed and then we can also do those both both and we want to just do this for units not equip units but just units and now let me publish this quickly we don't have to publish it but yeah so now we should get updates so as soon as we get something or equip something it gets refreshed Wait, like, oh yeah so that's pretty much it we will make it smoother and only replace those that have no effect later on so it doesn't like generate all those like right now and then now it's full because we got five equipped but yeah, that's pretty much it so yeah we can get units we can display them and the next thing then would be to display them all at the bottom so we can actually see which ones we have equipped quite easily and this will also act as the like well the the bar for playing so but first of all i'm going to make it like an inventory button because i don't like my inventory is constantly open so just name this inventory and put a script inside and what i want to do is i just want to go to script.parent.inventory or not dot not parent dot inventory dot visible is equal to not script dot parent dot parent dot inventory dot visible and yeah that's pretty much it so now when we go here we can follow this off and on so yeah it's pretty cool let me make it not visible by default so we have a cleaner view let me move the sum button like right below here and let me change the text of those buttons too so this is called summon the text scale just for now and this is the inventory so yeah now that we got these two buttons it's pretty easy to see so yeah let's actually see if this works so the units just are not the units but the enemies they walk pretty good we can also face through them they can face through each other which is good the walk speed is working everything's kind of working it kind of lags sometimes so they just kind of stop like for a millisecond like all together like when a new wave starts like now there is no new wave but if we if we pause current like if we just rejoin you'll see what i mean so after the second fast enemy spawns they kind of lag like for a millisecond you just watch this guy here now the first one spawned now the second one spawned now it will take three seconds and then they kind of just lag for a millisecond see they just kind of lag back like the green guy and now the new wave starts but yeah it's pretty good so we got the equip we also should make them appear at the top uh but yeah 
It's just they get generated at last, so they get pulled here. Yeah, we got five equipped, so we can't equip more. This also works perfectly. And yeah. We got the yen displayed, we got the level displayed. Pretty much everything displayed. Yeah, we can totally just for fun add a new B unit and just see how that goes because I just want to show you how easy it is to add new units or something to the system. So when we go to the modules, we're actually, what do we have them? We have them in the unit module here. So I have the A unit. So let me duplicate it and rename this to B unit. Let me go in here. The rarity to uncommon, I think. It's, I think we made it like this, but let me check. Where do we get the rarity module? Is it also in the unit module? Chances is the chances of unit chances. Chances, yeah, it's uncommon. Like this. So, we have the B units, we have the model. Okay, let me rename those two. So, we got the B units here. Then we got the shiny B units. The rarity and the template. So, let's go in here, change the template. So, we got the B unit. This is going to be uncommon. Placement cost, let me make this to 200. Placement limit, let me actually make this at four. Those don't really matter that much. But yeah, so let's see if it instantly works. Or let me just copy the A unit name and see if we need to insert it anywhere else. And no, it doesn't seem like it. Let me paste it in here. And no, we don't have to do anything with it. So now when we go play the game, oh, let me actually make the model here. So let me go, let me take all those, those and let me make the brick body color to like a nice yellow. And then the shiny one, let me make it to like a nice more orange. And now let's go in here. Let's go play. And in inventory, let's summon some more. Okay, we got a normal. And now, yeah, we got the B unit here, which is pretty cool. So we got the B unit. And we got another A unit. Another B unit. Let's spin for a shiny, shall we? So. Let's go to the shiny A unit here. Let's go change this quite up a bit. So let's make it like kind of a bit more white for the shiny. Now let's see if we actually got a shiny because we don't even know if we do. Yeah, we actually got plenty of shinies. So all those that you can see here are shinies, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's spin for some more. And yeah, we actually got what well, the shiny per like probability is quite high. Did I leave it at this high? Let me think. Let me see. Let me see. So the chances, the current shiny chance is where is it? It's the get all chances. Did I leave the the shiny? Where is the shiny chance? It is config.getRandomShiny, it's in the config. GetRandomShiny is in the stats mod of GetRandomShiny. So stats mod and GetRandomShiny. Oh yeah, it's currently 10%. That makes sense. So it should be 1%, but yeah, so let me just wipe all the data. So let me get a new data store. We also have to change the unit source. So let's go to unit A go up here and put the player key and the data store to just so this gets 
this one. Can use it anywhere else. No, just in the unit save. Okay, so we can change this up. So we just unit level sort underscore one. And now we should have a new fresh data sort. Pretty good. So let's roll for a few units. We got the normal B unit, a normal A unit, normal A unit, normal B unit. And also, as you can see, the kind of like the outer rim here has their rarity color. So this one is gray. This one is kind of green and we can add a C unit, which we make rare. So let's duplicate this, rename this to C unit and let's just change it up. So the C unit here, so let me copy the name because we're going to need it a bunch. So this one here, it's going to shine the C unit and let's just make this one like blue. So we make this a lighter blue. The shiny one, we just make it a darker blue. So like this one here, lapis, pretty good. Then we change this to rare. Copy it. Go in here. It's a C unit, it's rare. The cost is 280. And yeah, we don't have to change anything there. For fun, we can change the level to 10 and see if it works so if it actually displays the level so some and we instantly got the c unit and as you can see it's level 10 it has the blue borders and yeah it's a normal one if we summon again we got the normal a we got the shiny b unit we got a normal a unit we got a normal a unit okay we got nothing because then we got something rare so it only gets you something if the rarity exists. Normal C, normal A, normal A again, shiny B, normal A, normal A, normal A, normal C, shiny B, and another shiny B. So the Bs tend to appear more often in shiny, or maybe it's just because I'm lucky. Yeah, so this is kind of like off. We have to make this quite bigger. So we can do this by just going to, by just going to the inventory, many container. Then we have the UI grid layout here. So we just make the cell size on the Y, just like the, so let me change this to like a zero, zero, eight. Just for a bit more spacing. And we just want to halve this. So let me just. So this should be 89 then. We just put in 89, like dot 89. And then we just go in the container and we double the canvas size. So we canvas size to four. And now we can house double the units. We can't. Oh shoot. Uh, yeah, we have to. Oh sorry. Oh yeah, I missed it. We have to go zero eight nine, not eight nine. Sorry, zero eight nine. Now when we go C, yeah, we can fit way more now. As you can see. So let's summon a few more. And see. So yeah, we got a few normal B units, few shinies, C units, pretty much everything. Yeah, so I think this kind of works. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.